You ever been in that annoying situation where you're typing out a really long bit of text, perhaps a message to someone or a social media post, but then before you remember to save it, you accidentally get out of the app and then swipe it from your recents? Well, Typekeeper is a fantastic application designed to help. You see, once Typekeeper is activated, it will then automatically save every single thing that you type or copy in any app on your phone and keep a complete record for you. Copied a phone number a few days back but forgot to save it, it'll be there. Copied a link to a video and want to watch it again, yep, it'll be there. And you can even manage which apps the feature is enabled for, which is amazing. All right, second up today is Tap to Translate. And despite what the name suggests, I actually reckon this app is far more than just a translation tool. You see, whilst the app's main purpose is that it lets you translate any text on your phone screen into whichever language you like, which it does really well, because of the way that it's been implemented, you can actually use the app to copy any text, even if it was not originally selectable. So text within an image, definitely. Text from a Google Discover feed headline, you bet. What about text from an Instagram caption? No problem. Plus, of course, literally anything else that you can think of. Following that is Powerful Monitor, a fantastic system monitor application with a seriously clean design. And if you've ever wanted to monitor any CPU, RAM or battery related information for your phone, then this is the app for you. From overall CPU usage and running temperatures to which apps are using up your phone storage, the app even shows you detailed battery usage information and offers a bunch of solutions that can help you to extend your phone's battery life. Then on top of that, you can also tap this floating window option here to enable any of these really clean floating widgets. Plus, as I said, the app just has a really slick design as well. Now, Powerful Monitor is a paid application, but if you want a free version that hones in on just battery information, then you can pick up the equally excellent Battery Monitor app instead. Now, this app offers pretty much all of the battery features of the Powerful Monitor application, but in its own self-contained app, which means not only can you monitor your phone's battery usage, but just like the Powerful Monitor app, it also offers you a bunch of these optimization modes that will allow you to extend the battery life of your phone. This app also lets you activate a bunch of these floating window options as well. Plus, both apps also offer you a bunch of widgets that you can place on your home screen, which look pretty neat. And whilst we're talking about widgets, next up we have Android Clock Widgets, which is an app that offers you a huge collection of highly unique clock widgets that can seriously level up the look of your phone's home screen. From super high-tech, sci-fi-esque looking clocks to these more minimal options, to even these incredible analog clocks and meters, the amount of options are amazing. Plus, what's really cool is that when you tap on each clock, you can then actually set up up to six app shortcuts, meaning the clock widgets kind of act as pseudo app folders as well for even more added functionality. Each clock also has a bunch of customizations you can make as well. Plus this blue clock widget even comes with this incredible full screen clock, which I just think looks ridiculously cool. Okay, halfway down the list today, and next up we have Plan App. And this is a free and open source application that lets you manage your phone through a web browser. With the app open, you just tap this little computer icon, then set this enable toggle to on. From there, you just type this address into any web browser of your choosing, then you enter the password, hit accept on your phone, and once complete, you'll then see a bunch of options related to your phone in your browser, including an option to view all of your phone's storage files, which you can open and save to your computer as needed. There's this option to write notes, which are obviously synced between the different devices, and there's even this screen mirror option. However, I wasn't able to get this fully working on my Nothing Phone 2. But aside from that, it's also very secure and completely ad-free, and the seamlessness of the entire experience is really kind of staggering. Next up is Extinguish, which is a really simple app that lets you turn your phone screen off whilst simultaneously keeping it awake. With the app set up and activated, you will then see this little floating button, and you just tap on it, and that'll turn your display off. But here's the kicker. Your phone isn't actually off or even locked, just the screen is off. And this means you can keep apps active in the background. So a YouTube video or a voice recording or perhaps specific games, for example, all while saving battery because your phone screen is actually off. 
Then if you wanna turn your screen back on, you just press your volume up key and there we go. Now I've used and even featured a similar app called Black Screen on the channel a couple of times now, but where that app actually places a black rectangle over your content, Extinguish uses A to B permissions that need to be granted via Shizuku to actually turn your phone's display off, which is super cool. And then if you're someone who is notorious for leaving valuable items behind, then you've got to try out Bring Me. So anytime you're putting something of value somewhere that you want to remember, you just type in the name of the item, then tap the tick icon. And then that will be saved alongside location information so that you don't forget where you left it. You can obviously do that for as many items as needed, but then if you're moving one of the previously added items and you want to update its location, well, once it's in the new location, you just tap on with me and that location will update. The app will also send you notifications from time to time to check if your items are still with you. So it is truly a seriously handy application. All right, second to last today is an application called Flip Clock. And this is actually by the same developer as the powerful monitor and battery monitor applications. So their apps are getting fantastic airtime in today's episode, but I loved the simplicity of this app so much that I just couldn't not feature it in today's episode. By default, the app comes with two free full screen clocks for your viewing pleasure, one light mode version and one dark mode version. And what's great is that they work in both portrait and landscape orientations. There's also some small tweaks that you can make to adjust the overall look. Plus, you can even get the app to play some really nice ambient sounds in the background to help you fall asleep or get work done. And if you upgrade to the pro version, then you can unlock a huge range of additional themes, all of which look really nice. And so finally today we have Fake GPS, a super simple yet powerful application for spoofing your phone's location. You just open the app, find the location you wanna spoof, so let's say somewhere in Tokyo for example, then hit the play button. With that, the app will close and our phone's location will now be set to that exact location in Tokyo, which we can verify by opening up Google Maps, and there we go. We can even head back into the app, change the location to somewhere else, then tap the play button. And again, when we open Google Maps and tap the locator icon, you can see that our phone's location has once again been updated. This is amazing for maintaining privacy given that all apps on your phone will now think that that's where your location is. And just quietly, that's even how I spoofed my location for the Bring Me segment earlier in the video. But that's it, 10 incredible Android applications that I reckon are seriously worth trying. As always, if you wanna get promo codes to a bunch of apps featured throughout the video, then all you gotta do is hit that join button below to become a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live. And if you're wondering which apps I have promo codes for, well, here's a look at each of them. And a huge thank you needs to be given to the developers behind these apps for agreeing to give each of my channel members a promo code. Oh, and just a reminder, this is not a promo code giveaway where it's like first in best dressed. This is a guaranteed promo code for every single channel member. On top of that, if you're looking for some more Android app recommendations, then I highly recommend checking out my very own application shelf, which is filled to the brim with some really handy app suggestions. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.